Good morning, y'all. Yeah, we are excited about our eclipse that's happening across the United States tomorrow. And uh, this weekend, viewers are in for a special treat when the moon moves in front of the sun. It's going to block out portions of the sun here and for other parts of the U.S. creating a ring of fire in the sky. We call this an annular eclipse. It's not a total eclipse, but we'll have more uh, of a total eclipse coming next year. Here to talk all about this and more importantly, the safety of it all, too, is Jessica Kayez. NASA Heliophysics Senior Support Project Specialist uh, to talk about our eclipse. And Jessica, thank you so much for joining us. I want to start with exactly how this differs from a total eclipse. We all remember the one from 2017 that went across the U.S. How is this one going to be different from that? Yeah, so this one's going to be totally different compared to what you've seen in 2017. So this one will create a phenomenon where you'll see a ring of fire or where you're at a partial. So it'll look like Pac-Man or the moon's eating the sun slowly by slowly. So it won't happen over a two minute time frame. It'll happen over like a two hour time frame. OK, cool. And so the one back in um, 2017, there was parts of the US that were in that total path went completely dark. So in this case, those in the path, are they still going to see quite a bit of light or is it going to be dark like in 2017? Yeah, so if you're in the path of totality, you will definitely have a little bit of sun. Um, it won't be completely dark like the total solar eclipse in 2017. This one will create a ring of fire, as you can see on the screen, or you can see a lot of the sun, but the moon is slightly covering it to create like a crescent shape. Yeah, and I don't know if we can take our weather computer there in the control room, but uh, I put together this graphic. This is a rough estimate on what we're going to see in the New Orleans area. I think around 75% of the moon is going to cover the sun here. Maximum eclipse you can see there just afternoon should have great viewing for it. So if you want to go out and view this, the sun is mm -hmm. still going to be bright, right? So how can we view this safely? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely want to emphasize you should never look at the sun directly at any time of the day, even during a partial or solar eclipse. So you want to make sure you have or solar viewer filters or you can do a pinhole projector at home easily enough. Uh, you say a pinhole projector. Can you explain exactly what a pinhole projector is? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so a pinhole projector is where you have like an index <laughs> card and you can poke a hole in it with anything like a safety pin. You line it up with your shadow on the ground at a 45 degree angle, point it towards the ground and you'll be able to see that as the moon is passing through the sun. OK, cool. And you know, we're talking about these eclipses. We do have a total eclipse coming this coming year in 2024. This one is not going to be total for New Orleans, but some very big cities are going to see this total eclipse. Let's talk about that one and how it's going to differ uh, from the one we're going to see tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. So next year's total eclipse is going to be where the peak of the moon completely covers the sun. And uh, so you'll have it completely dark. So and as you said, in where you are, you will not have a to total totality, but you'll still be able to view it. And I don't know in the control room if we can take the weather computer again. I want to show the path of this one because I imagine if people are making plans, hotel rooms have probably been sold out for years. But I mean, we're talking like Austin, Dallas, Little Rock, up through Louisville, Cleveland, going to see the path of totality with this. And how rare are these types of eclipses? Yeah, so they're very rare. The next ones will happen in 20, uh, 2040. So 2042 and 43, I believe. So for some, I guess you got to go out and check this one out. And the one coming in April, it'll be a while in between. Hey, thank you so much. And hopefully it's good visuals for everyone. Hopefully clouds aren't obscuring too much of the visuals across the U.S.